Just one thing on trust, um, you're on, yeah. and back on the subject of the unreliable boyfriend. You, you, mm. you, you've, you've put forward, you've tried to communicate to the British people about possible interest rate rises. You tried the idea of giving forward mm. guidance, all these things. And yet, you know, we're still here, still sort of flirting with the idea of interest rates. Do, do, do you think that there was no alternative looking back, or, or do you have any regrets about forward guidance? No, not, uh, look, I think the forward guidance initially uh, was very much about early stages of the recovery uh, and what are the minimum conditions required before we'd even begin to think of raising interest rates. And it's interesting, if you looked at the historic reaction function of the Bank of England, given the strength of the initial recovery uh, 2013 into 2014, the strength of the purchasing managers indices and the, and, and the growth. Uh, historically, the Bank of England would have raised rates three times during that period. Now, it wasn't, you can tell, revealed uh, in terms of inflation outcomes, that wouldn't have been the right thing. But it was partly b binding the hands of, uh, of, of the committee to say, let's see what the traction is in this recovery. Let's see uh, what the underlying inflation dynamics were. So that was a sensible thing to do. And I think it actually did give people confidence to you know, continue to invest. Um, subsequent to that, we have given guidance about the path, likely path of interest rates, limited and gradual. It is so, we've repeated it so many times, it's so boring, it gets repeated back. It's just part of the furniture now. But that's a good thing because that was a call we made in uh, December, think, December of 2013. But do you think that's so a communication? So two years ago, two yeah. years ago we made that call. And now it's, now it's accepted as that's the likely path. And of course it has been consistent. Recently, what we've been, what we've been, the challenge we've been facing is what's the right timing of starting that process of limited gradual uh, rate increases, and um, this economy has been making some progress. In the judgment of the committee, including myself, it hasn't made yet enough progress to start that process. Um, at some point, that will be there. Would I rather have the? the majority of the British people thinking that rates are likely to go up in the next year, which is the case today? Yes, I would, because that is reasonably prudent behavior given the progress this economy is making, uh, given the likely path of rates. Do I also want them, and particularly businesses, to think, uh, but when rates go up, it's not going to be the old rate cycle, very sharp increases, very rapid? Yes, I'd like them to think that as well, because they can plan accordingly. Uh, at some point, rates are going to move. Um, it's not today, unfortunately, so this isn't going to top your, uh, top your news. But, always uh, trying. Yeah, it's always trying. <laughs>